Oh, cool. Looks like it's working great. Pop out chat. I'll just wait for people to swing through. Hi, Vaughn Watchers. Hello. Reno, T. Alex Moo, dumbass Nemo. What up, guys? Good to see you. Moz, what's going on, dude? First one of the stream. Hello, hello. Ayo, what's up there? No intro screen? No, baby, we starting. Moz, thank you very much for 26 months, by the way, dude. How's your day going, guy? What you doing? Guys, I made it out into the garage. Sven let me into the garage again. It was very nice of him. I said, Sven, can I please go into the garage? And he was like, he was throwing stuff at me. It wasn't apples like my mom, but he was throwing cans of Pringles at me. Thankfully, no Pringles in the can, just the cans themselves. But he's like, no, you're not going to go in the garage. I'm not going to let you. I finally, I broke him down. He let me come into the garage. So you get how these things go. Zoop through. Good to see you too, dude. Thank you for 22 months, Zoop. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Don't step on the broken glass. Don't worry, I'm safe. I'm safe certified over here, dude. I like the sound of the cars going by. It reminds me of being next to a road. Yes, indeed. How how loud are the cars right now? It's still kind of rush hour-y over here, so I think they'll die down, but is it overwhelming? I could really shut the door, but I, I'm going off of Wi-Fi right now, so I kind of want to keep it open for the time being. Hey, Duder, what up, dude? Thanks for swinging through. Hey, Duder, what up, dude-er? Thanks for swinging through correct myself on that one dude thank you for subbing up loxifer that's loxifer 100 that sounds like a super movie villain dude appreciate it i heard the train coming around <laughs> trains come around the bend dude how are you guys i'm gonna make a prop for a video i'm gonna shoot with some fellers tomorrow um i'm going to make two very small props um one is a little bigger than the other and we have a couple things to do today we're gonna do that um we also have a couple letters that we got in the P.O. box that we'll open up. And again, if people aren't here for them, no worries. But I've got something from a person with the initials A.N. I've got them censored. A.N. from Canada. And I've got a Nathan M. from the United States. Also, I found this at the CVS Pharmacy. And I used my coupon. I got it for $2.99. Look at this fucking thing. Another pin thing. It's a little Latios or Latios. I can never remember. Um, but there's a Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies pack in here. I got one of them, so we're going to open that. It's just kind of a smorgasbord of stuff today, so thanks for coming and hanging out in the garage with me. Uh, we do have a hype train going. Lovely to see everyone. What would you get up to today? I just took a nap, and I woke up, and I did some more tax stuff, and now I poured a Peach Vibe Celsius into my Renaissance Fair mug here. My video's flipped. Oh, the backward stuff. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Taxes are for pussies. Hey. Oh, no. Hope says random life update. Problems in five days. I finally got my suit, shirt, and shoes. I'm going with a white, blue, and black theme. Looks really good. When I get pictures, I'll send them on Discord for you to seal to see. For now, my pants are getting fitted for me. There you go, dude. That sounds fantastic. Well, I hope it's a good experience for you. Thanks for updating there, Hope. Tax is more like wire fraud. Hey, dude. What the crap, dude? Um, it is mirror image. That's okay. You can see the backwards uh, Jack Jones, John Clemmer album, MCA Records. I've got a... We got a couple over there. We got Johnny Mathis. Did I ever show you the ones that we got on the wall, actually? let me Let me give you a little peek over here. I don't know that there's too much new stuff in the garage right now. Um, but here, I'll take you around while I'm waiting for people to show up here, too. Let me see if I can flip you. So here was our criteria. This is what this corner looks like. Here's my crafting corner right now. I got one of the tube TVs up there. Um, yeah, this is what we'll be working with today. Obviously, the little Miller High Life one. Smile, you're on camera. But my my parameters for the, the albums over here were cool looking, fun colors, or weird shit. Even if I don't know the artist. So I, And these were all like a dollar or two. So we got John Clemmer, Jack Jones for the in crowd, MCA Records. Bro, look at Johnny Mathis over there, dude. 
This is one of the only uh, artists that I actually knew, but I was like, fuck, bro, that just looks cool. That's just a dude lounging. We got more Knockers Up by Rusty Warren. Also, here's what I like about this. The uh, like little timpani sticks or whatever are drawn into her hand for some reason. It's kind of interesting little detail. I don't even know. Rusty Warren, there we go. I fucking love this album cover. Go for Baroque, great hits of the 1700s. This is an S tier one to have in the gambling garage over here, honestly. Also, this is just Suntown. And then I was like, okay, I don't know what that is. I love the fonts on that. And the center says, six presidents speak. We got Charles Collingwood narrator, Edward Hoppe. Johnny Lee over here, baby. I don't know who that is, honestly. Maybe you guys are going to yell at me, but it looked really cool. And then Shaft, performed by Soul Man and the Brothers. Here, let's take a little meander over here to this side of the garage. This is where we play poker, by the way. Um, with our buddies. What's up, ZX? Good to see you, dude. Um, so this is the poker corner right now. I've got uh, a couple things over here. I've, I realize I didn't clear the entire setup, so I'm not going to show the full other sides of the room and stuff. That's okay. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different other albums over here. This one just looked pretty. And then we got Jimmy Dean, and that looks pretty cool. Back here, you can kind of see the best of Spanky and the gang. Hell yeah. We also got Modern Scrapbook. I got this at a yard sale for free. For free. Got some Lucky Strike cigarettes. There's nothing in the box, but it still looks pretty cool, right? A little Donnie Drapeski over here. I found this. This is one of the funniest things ever. I got it at a thrift store for $2. Look at this. Prescription beer. Wall Bash Pharmacy. No I am too inebriated. Dr. Alcohol. Berry Big Belly, take one can by mouth, repeat as needed until intoxicated. And I know you fuckers, I don't want to show you this. I know you're going to point out the joy juice as soon as I put it on screen. God damn it, Reno. Uh, quantity as many as you can do, refills, yes sir. <laughs> Expires Monday morning. Also, here are the hours of our garage. Business hours, Monday 1 to 2, Tuesday 5 to 5. Wednesday is potato salad. Thursday, please come to our house. Friday, 8 to when? Saturday, 6 to 9. Sunday is open to close. The emergency phone numbers are 911, dumbass, and just yell. Also, I really like this. Oh, that's a tool. That's not a toy. Whoever the previous owner was had this shelf over here. And on the shelf, apparently they used to keep like screws and nails and little small stuff just in these glass jars. And when they weren't using them, they just go bink, sweet, 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 and just screw them right up there. Isn't that kind of cool? I mean, isn't it kind of cool? Can you see me all right if I'm like this? That might be a little easier. And there'd be more stuff in view. Your house had that too? It's kind of fun, isn't it? Actually, you know, I, I think I could probably watch my stream just on my laptop here for a monitor. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe that'd be better for sound too. I don't know how the mics usually go. Uh. Excuse me. Good to see everybody. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I just look like some beer gut dad sitting out here. <laughs> Sven's gonna roll up. Hey, how you doing? We got our Joe Rogan ass looking fucking curtains over here. We're chilling. Let me see if I can get, if I move this over here, I wonder if I can get a couple more fun things in, in frame there. It should be good. We got a few second delay, my apologies. Oh wow, this is actually gonna be nice and pretty. So here's what I figured we'd be working on today. I'm gonna shoot a sketch tomorrow. And again, to my Twitch audience over here, you know there's way fewer people that watch my stuff on Twitch, so I'm, I'm happier to kind of spoil videos. The last time we did this was a couple of months ago. It was actually super fun. I We filmed the uh, sketch about like the neighbor that was coming over to the ring doorbell to complain that the neighbor's kid was throwing over several British military issued live grenades into our yard and I was being Mr. Ned Flanders nice and chipper, you know? Um, anyway, I'm gonna tell you what the sketch is and then I'm gonna make a couple of props from it because I just need to make two kind of shitty looking props so I just took over or took out a couple simple tools 
and we'll do that. And honestly, I just kind of want to hang out in the garage. It's fucking gorgeous right now. It's probably like 75 degrees today. No breeze. It is so chill. Uh, a beautiful Monday. So just was going to hang out over here with you guys in a couple hours. I'm going to tell you what the sketch is. And I will say it a couple of times. Um, Gus, I seem to have misplaced my peen butt. Have you seen it anywhere? No, I don't see it. I'm sorry, Joe. Keep an eye out for it, though. Um, hey, gamers. Winston, Clown Baby, Captain Nemo, 68K Mac Man, Balloonatic. Good to see everybody. I'm jealous of that. It was 84 today. Too damn hot for April. That is, that's insane, dude. <sighs> totally doesn't even feel like I'm streaming right now. We've been doing a lot of really different stuff on stream lately. I'm happy with it, you know? I'm, I feel bad that I started the Lonesome Road DLC and then didn't, like hella finish it super quick but we'll get back to that um and we still obviously have to finish red dead too fuck well, that's gonna get done whenever the fuck it gets done at this point in time whatever happens happens so here's the sketch that i'm gonna make it's a fun stupid one and i'm gonna shoot it tomorrow um tomorrow's another cool shirts filming day for the cool shirts boys i'm not a part of that um but it, they shoot it at our house here and they use the garage for a lot of the sets so um but those boys will be over tomorrow i'm gonna see if i can get one of them to uh pop in to be a voice behind the camera with me and my brother Sven and basically the sketch that we're going to do is we're going to take both our cars uh and we're just going to go find a spot out in public and I want to do a video that's called I got hit by a car I super clickbaity right like I got hit by a car or like um my neighbor rear-ended me it, that's going to be the gist of it again is like pretending like some sort of like contention happened um I oh before I missed them though too by the way because I don't have Streamlabs up here, and I will miss these. I just want to thank Sanctus Fides very much for the Prime sub, dude. The stream makes me feel like you're about to crack a beer and show us your top 10 football plays that you personally recorded on the VCR. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's my Betamax head cleaner. God damn it, we got to... Yeah, that's head cleaner right there, okay. Uh, let me see. Thanks, Sanctus, and also thank you, Flippy Graham. Hey, Gub, happy anniversary. Got to pop in and out. Have a great stream. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate uh, you, Flippy and Sanctus. Drooby Snacks, is this enough for a six-pack of Joy Juice? <laughs> Doc's orders, brother. Let me go grab the old prescript there, buddy. I think it will be. Thank you. Ah, delicious. Anyway, so the sketch that we'll be shooting tomorrow is going to be like, I got rear-ended, I got into, maybe, I think I got into a car accident, it, even though it's kind of the same thing, is maybe too clickbaity and shit, I'll figure out the title later, but it's going to be like POV, Sven is holding the camera, and then whoever else is with him, it's just going to be two voices, like, getting out of one car, assuming they just started rolling right now, you know, like, like, for example, I got rear-ended a few months ago, it was really minor, and I didn't get injured, um, but when I did that, as soon, I was with my girlfriend at the time. I just took out my phone and I just started rolling. I just wide angled it, you know, kept it down just as a record, just in case. Like I didn't go like, what the fuck? your life's ruined, buddy. You're fucked. You know, but I was just like, all right, I'll just roll on this. So, uh, but yeah, so it's basically going to be like the POV, like somebody's in that kind of a situation. What was his name? Oh, that would be too personal. I won't tell you, but his home address and place of work are, okay, I won't do that. Um, so Sven's getting out of the car and he's just like, it's just going to be like, are you rolling? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just, shit. Are you okay? Oh, I mean, my neck kind of hurts. All right. Okay. Let's just go talk to him. Let's go talk to him. So Sven's going to get out of the car. I'm going to be dressed in like long johns and just an old raggedy shirt. And I'm just going to kind of look, I'm not going to be playing it up insane, you know, but I'm just going to be kind of, you know, hair a little scuffed and just, Hey, just kind of get out of the car and Hey, Sorry about that. I'm gonna say sorry. I was just eating some cheese. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hit you like that. Um, I'm happy to cooperate and just kind of take care of this, fellas. If you want to do that, and Sven and those guys are gonna be like, okay, great, thank you, thank you so much. And they're gonna be like, okay, um, do you do you want to just like give us your insurance information in the glove box? I'll be like, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna go in the glove box and I'm gonna take out like my insurance information and I want it to be like just a fucking ancient ass looking Dead Sea Scrolls kind of like little piece of parchment and stuff. I'd be like, I think I got all the like, I think I got all the paperwork here and then take out a little magnifying glass. Yeah, this should, if you guys wanna take this, just kinda, and then they're like, whoa, dude, 
the fuck? Like, that looks ancient as shit. What is that? It's just like, oh, it's just my information. Like, is this on a scroll? Is this papyrus? Dude, this is papyrus. I, I don't know. Sorry, it's an older model vehicle. I understand, but... And they're like, okay, dude, well, do you just, just want to just give us your phone number? And I'll be like, yeah, I just got a phone, so I got to, hold on, I don't remember the number, it's in the car. And they're going to go, okay. And I'm going to go right back into the car, and I want to pull out just, like, the first looking telephone ever. Like some real Alexander Graham Bell ass shit. Just a big box with two of the big black bells on the front, and a little handheld receiver like it's the fucking Andy Griffith show. You know, and I want, so I want to pull this ancient thing out and just be like, um, I don't remember how to check the number on this. And they're like, dude, what the, f what is that? What is it? What? Dude, what the fuck is that even a phone? Yeah, it's my phone. I'm sorry. It's not the iPhone 15 here. I just, this is what I got. And they're going to be like, Ugh, I don't know. Are you, are you fucking with us? And be like, listen, guys, I, I'm here to cooperate. I'm trying to keep it as grounded as possible early on because it's so fucking ridiculous. And I'm just going to be like, I'm here to cooperate. I'm not messing with you. It's just a phone I got. Do you want my? Do you want to take down my number or not? All right. I guess we'll take it down. All right. You ready for? Oh yeah. It's, I wrote it on the back here. <laughs> You're know, like, okay. Uh, the number there is three one. All right. Did you get that? You said three. Yep. Three one is the number. Dude, three one. Yeah, I got it a while ago, so this must be the number that came with the, with the unit. And then they're going to be pissed. They're like, dude, fuck off. Bro, fuck you. Or what, are you trying to scam us? I'm like, I'm not trying to scam. You starting road rage with me right now? They're like, what? No. Like, dude, I'm pissed. Oh, you guys are going to regret this. And I'm going to go back into the car. Like, I'm going to go for, like, a gun or a baseball, like, uh, bat or some shit. And I'm going to pull out. I got this massive, long, hewn stick that I got from the Renaissance Fair. And I've got a bunch of leather strap stuff already. So, uh, and those guys are going to be like, yo, what the fuck is that? I was like, you guys are going to really regret this. And I'm going to be wrapping leather around my hands and stuff. And they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? dude? <laughs> what is that? And I'm like, it's an atlatl. <laughs> Do you guys even know what a fucking atlatl is? Do you? It's like, it was used like tens of thousands of years ago to like hunt. Humanity would just hunt with it. It's a spear and you have to like steady it along your arm so I'm going to be, like, preparing an atlatl. Anyway, I'm going to figure out the end button on it, but it's basically going to end there. Or, or these guys are going to get pissed and, and like, walk off. I'll be like, fine, take a carriage home. Dude, what, a carriage? Like, I'll just say some shit like that. So the joke is just that I have a bunch of, like, massively old versions of things that you'd encounter in a more modern-day scenario. That's the whole bit. It's very stupid. But I think it's going to be a really funny one. Uh, and it'll be a good mix of, like fun clickbait as well as good meme and fun guys that's do you want to make that video with me we could do it if, if you're busy that day that's fine we don't have to okay I, you got to get some stuff to oh wait Anyway, that's the video. Thank you very much, Bone Jesus, for the Prime sub, by the way, dude. Happy Monday to you, too. Thank you for hanging out the other day as well. And thank you, Shpepi, for subbing up Creamy Ranch. That's where I used to live till I moved out. Thanks, Shpepi. I think that'll be a fun one. Oh, thanks, LaFernator. Yeah, we're just hanging out in the garage today. So here's my thought process. One of the props is going to be easy as shit. I'm going to make the parchment paper. I just got some eight and a half by 11s. I figured I'd just do the coffee stain trick. So I brewed some coffee up. Do you guys want to sip? Because most of it's not going to get used for drinking. Just thinking and stinking. All right, have a sip. There you go. I'm drinking a Celsius and a black coffee. I was just going to put it in here and shake the paper and shake up the papers and get a lot of coffee on them. And then I'm going to just flatten these out to dry. And then tomorrow I will try to roll them up without them breaking. Is it a deal? I'm being pretty straightforward with the entire process here. Yeah, the camera looks good. Well, it's because I'm on my cell phone right now. I'm just on the iPhone here. Here, let's 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 make a couple of these. Actually, wait. If I'm gonna get these fucking soaking wet, I should do them one at a time. I'm stupid as hell. Or is it just gonna not come apart? I don't know. That's a good question, Reno. Um, Tim, what's going on, gamer? 
I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do for uh, uh, my wardrobe. I figured I'd just wear long johns. Like, I don't want it to make it look like I'm actually ancient. Um, but we'll see. Oh no, those are my documents. I freaking, oh, I need those. Mm. <laughs> my neighbors probably just fucking hate me. So, guys, this is how you make old-ass-looking paper. You just get a little coffee, and then you put it in here. And it, I didn't want to use, like, a million a, a million milligrams of coffee because it would fucking... That's too much. I don't need that much shit. And just make sure that the paper's coated. I've never done this. I've never made it like this before. There's probably a trillion times easier way to make this. I didn't want to get it too shaken up so I couldn't, like unfold it let's try this out let's see if this worked uh, i can bring it down a little bit there you go there's the dad gut cam hey gamers all right here we are Ooh, guys now that is what i like to call documentation lemon juice on paper is probably a little better tomorrow when this is like nice and dry and stuff too oh cock I'm going to uh, burn some of the edges on this here. There we go. Oop, it's starting to split a little bit. That's okay, that ain't bad. Plus, look at it, it's looked like it kind of colored some of these creases too. Let's get a little drippage. Woo, mama, that's gonna be a good, nice piece of paper. And honestly, I'm just gonna set this on the ground floor. <laughs> Just fucking flat on the garage floor. There we go. Actually, you know, maybe it makes sense to drape it over some shit. Yeah, I'll put it on the rungs of this chair. That'll be good, actually. I'm gonna make a couple of these at once, too. That'll give it a better opportunity to dry. Again, I can't imagine that this is remotely the best way to do this, but... It'll sure work, you know? Uh, and I will I will repeat the beats of the sketch generally a couple times because I'm sure people come in and be like, what are we doing? The, the general gist is that uh, I get pulled over. Like Sven is filming and it's gonna be Sven and a friend. And I get pulled over by them because I just hit their car. So they're filming just to like make sure it's documented, and, you know, accounted for. And they're asking for like, you know, insurance papers as well as you know like a cell phone number and stuff for me like typical things you do in a traffic accident like that but every little single thing that i procure is just fucking ancient looking to the point where i get so mad that i'm gonna engage in road rage but instead of going for a gun i take out an atlatl an ancient ass weapon that's the gist of it so this is going to be my insurance information i'm trying to make it look like some dead sea scrolls ass shit dude anyway it's a little coffee. Getting my money's worth out of this Keurig pot here. There we go. Oop, this is a pretty leaky frickin' Tupperware that Sven bought. I made the mistake twice of having Sven buy kitchenware stuff for me because I was like, oops, that guy doesn't really cook. So he got the bad versions of the things I wanted. But that one's probably on me. I gotta be a more effective delegator, Chad. Oh, also, like I said before, too, here, we got some more folks uh, joined in. I do have a couple things people sent over from the P.O. box that we can open up. There is a person for, with the initials A.N. I've got two smaller white envelopes. person with the initials A.N. sent something in from Canada, and I got a letter from Nathan M. It was in the States. Nathan M. So if either of you guys are uh, uh, in chat, you let me know. We can, once my hands are clean, we can open up your packages whenever. Also, I was saying before i found another one of these little fuckers i used my coupon i got it for under three bucks total look at this shit evolving skies uh chilling rain two pack over here so we can pop that open in just a sec uh, excuse me also if you guys see whoever nathan m is or a n appear in chat you let me know in case i might miss it like hey i'm here whatever kind of thing you know here we go Hello, set of hard, good to see you. I'm just checking. Gus, can you get your hands on a Ford Model T for this sketch? 
Brother, sketch aside, I've been looking for one of those for years. I don't know why the hell Henry took those off the line. They were just getting going. Damn, we got all the emergency vehicles flying over overhead here today. Okay, this one will probably be... Ooh, that one turned out good. Oh, man, here's what I'm learning I should do. I should, like, crumple these before staining them, I think. I think this stuff sets in a little bit better. I'll set this one off to the side. Dude, I gotta ask Leno to borrow. Yeah, Jay Leno, I'd said before on stream, Jay Leno fucking drove past my house like a week ago and he was in this like fucking enormous green car that looked like it was from like the 30s or some shit. Honestly, we on screen when I or on stream when I was on my desktop computer, I Googled Jay Leno old jalopy green and we found like several pictures of him in it. If you Google that, you can see the car I was talking about. But how weird was it? Because it was just full Jay Leno denim shirt, just <laughs> his his horn sounded like that too. He put he, guy won't move in traffic, he hits it, he goes <laughs> He's pissed dude. That was one of my seaside jokes. I'm gonna try one more and I'm gonna pre-wrinkle this one. We'll see if it turns out super different. Gus, when you pull out the insurance info, put the paper in a glass bottle and throw it on the floor. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I would, I'm going to go shoot it on a public street, so I won't do that. But uh, I got to get some like sugar glass bottles. There's a good com company out here that makes them, but they're like 20 bucks a pot. All right, I'm going to do this. I don't know if I even need more coffee. When it's crumpled up, I feel like it gets a little bit better coverage. Damn it, almost, I almost need it to be a little bit darker, but that's fine. I think tomorrow with like the burns that I'll be able to get on it and shit too, and then just the general crinkle, it'll probably make it work, so. Beautiful, beautiful. Something written in Canterbury font would be perfect for the insurance dude with the giant first letter. Hey, I ride Barney. Thanks for coming through for the first time too. Fuzzy Man Peach 52 and I both suggested this as Anaconda uh, Kiwi. Uh, you should start off in modern clothes, and then as the skit goes on, you pull out progressively older props. The clothes you're wearing can get older too. That's a funny idea. I'm trying to get it in such a small amount of time that I don't know if I'll have as much time to do that from like wardrobe change stuff, but maybe I could remove a big upper layer of clothing. That'd probably be the way to do it. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. Just have it a symbol. <laughs> Just have it be cuneiform. That was my backup is like, I wanted both, both can be super easily prepped. I do have some like gray rocks that I had considered having them be stone tablets because I have white chalk that I could just write. So it almost looks like it was chiseled in there. I didn't know if like that would be like funnier. Part of me too, since this is the first old prop reveal, wanted it to be something that's like clearly outrageous, but still like, I mean, it is paper. You know what I mean? So this is still at least paper. Cause especially if I'm fucking, if the button of the sketch is ending on pulling out an at ladle, you know what I mean? Oh, weird. The coffee that's still in here got dyed with the bleach in the paper. It's kind of fun. It looks like it's a little creamy coffee. Use the tablets for God on the roof. Moses gets pulled over for speeding. Oh God. Those are back in the old Wisco. I think those are some of my best videos I ever made was the God on the Roof ones here. I'm just really gingerly peeling this apart. Oh, dude, this one worked way better. Whoa, look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see. Yes, okay, the, the wrinkles that show up. Okay, that is clearly the move is to pre-wrinkle it. I thought I'd have to do that tomorrow. I'm just going to get a little of this excess off of it and set it up to dry. Damn, this is good. This is good. And if anything, it's it's totally fine that they're just getting almost completely destroyed here too. I'll set that one off. Yeah, that one turned out awesome, Anaconda. Now, oh, all right, I got the three of those hanging up to dry. That was a very easy prop to make. I could just go out and buy some of this stuff, um, but honestly, sometimes, even though it's arguably a waste of, of time opportunity cost-wise, it is just way more enjoyable to make them, you know? And I really pride myself still to this day. I don't think... I, I had said before, I thought the most expensive sketch I ever made was, it wasn't even a sketch, I think it was the Subway Jalapeno video, but I am proud to say that just in terms of my own YouTube sketches, I've never spent more than, I think, $300 on a sketch. Obviously, the Stanley Kickstarter one, too, was a bigger one, but that also <laughs> that didn't count. That single video kind of fucked my average up a little bit, but that's all right. 
That's okay. There's a little paper stuck on the wind behind your back. Don't you even. Ooh, nice and bleachy coffee. Oh, Keytar too. I don't remember how much I paid for the Keytar. That is a good que That's a good point. That might be the, just a sketch perspective, the most expensive one. I am pretty certain that I, and, and God, that was over five years ago at this point, but I'm pretty certain that I paid about $300 for that. Maybe $2 249 I remember I was at Guitar Center and I and I would not have bought it if it weren't for the fact that it was just sitting out to the side and it was on clearance. I legit don't remember, ironically, how much I paid for that. Get a nice little... I gotta get some big coasters. My big fat mugs don't fit these. <sighs> Wasn't that sponsor money, though? That one I don't think was sponsor money. Um, but it, hopefully it was tax write-offable. Here's the pick I got when I bought it. If you guys want to call Guitar Center. Oh, shit, I just doxed Guitar Center. Damn it. Can't be having that. Crayons, too. That's true. Wasn't the Imbi Sketch the most pricey one? Which one would that be? Because I've done four Imbi ones now. Temple of Doom... I don't know. I think those were relatively cheap. Oh, just buying the suit. That one was pricier because the suit I bought on Hollywood Boulevard, it was a day years ago I was out. Actually, I don't think I ever fucking told him. Churdley's and I were, Churdley's was with me. He showed me the coffee shop. I love Churdley's. Uh, it's one on Hollywood Boulevard though, so everything is fucking expensive as shit. So I went in there and we were just buying props. I was shooting that day. I was, God, that must have been 2018, 2019. And it was a film day. It was the, that was the day. We are so back, baby. Hi, Miss Crash. How are you? The internet connection is going to be canon for the upcoming video. It is going to be. Because don't get timed out for spamming. There we go. What was the last thing you heard? Damn it, I hate when that happens. It's always just kind of the risk you take when you do mobile streaming, though, is I what I really got to do is, like, loop it back to my computer so if it goes down, it just doesn't full end the stream. This time, I fully manually ended the stream and restarted it because it just would not give me internet connection back for some reason. Josh cut the Wi-Fi because you used Barefoot last stream, fuck. No, Josh, I'm sorry. I will be brand loyal from now on. Shit, I should have been consistent. What was I thinking? Start the Churdley story. Okay, there we go. Fuzzy Man Peach 52. Thanks for the prime sub, Fuzzy Man Peach. That's a great name. Uh, yeah, sorry. You know what? We might even drop a couple times today. It'll just be our cross the bear here. I'm not too worried about it. We'll, we'll make it happen. Josh for sure talked on that one. Anyway, yeah, I just said you were with Churdley's doing something. Yeah, I think that the day I bought the MB and Jones costume was the, the day that I was with Churdley's. He showed me that costume shop for sure. Um, and it, I, that was at the point in time, one of the most expensive sketches I ever did just cause the entire actual Indiana Jones licensed costume, it was just a shit jacket and the hat and the whip was like a hundred bucks. It sucked cause it was on Hollywood Boulevard. Been well, thanks. How are you good, sir? I'm doing okay. Miss crash. Good to see you. Thank you again. Fuzzy man, peach for the prime sub dude. Gus, would you live in a standard nineties house? But it was a spaceship permanently. Ooh, like it was permanently flying around? A standard, standard 90s house would give me most things that I'd need for entertainment. Especially media, you know? Like if you're in the late 90s, early 2000s from a media perspective, you have a pretty basic, fun, wild west internet. There's some pretty simple, basic shit to do. DVDs and VHSs, you got really fun games that are honestly like... That's a good catalog games. If I had to cut off at like 2005 and that was like as late as video game stuff would get for me, I'd be okay with that because I'd have multiplayer experiences and good enough graphics to like make shit work. So, oh, Frick, we back, baby. We back, we back. Yeah, thanks for putting up with the, with the crash, guys. It, it might happen again, like I said, and we'll lose folks every time, but that's okay. It's good to see you guys. Um... Uh, Gus, were you at, hey Gus, where are you at today? Hey, Rusty Shackleford, is that famed, uh, 
Very good job at blackjack player Rusty Shackleford, dude. <laughs> Age of Empires 2. Yeah, that's just it, too, is you have Age of Empires and Age of Kings edition by 2005, too. So uh, that would be really fun. That would be good to have. There you go, Rage Cage. Good to see you guys again. Just beefing up my stream streak. You got to do it, dog. Gus, you promised a 24-hour stream in a stream costume if you read this. Fuck! How did this happen? <laughs> Rusty goes, it's me. Well, I hope we don't we don't lose uh, the stream again. Anyway, like I was saying, that was the MB costume thing. Um, we'll start on the second uh, prop over here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I do want to ask again. I'll ask a couple times. I got two letters here, and especially the one from AN uh, from Canada. I, I taped over the like other info, so I won't leak or anything, but... AN from Canada and Nathan M. If any of those two people are in chat, uh, I want to open anything P.O. box wise when people are comfortable in the chat themselves. So you let me know. Um, I find sometimes with letters too that people don't always swing through uh, and people might send those in a little bit more passively. But um, if we don't see them, we don't see them. No worries. It's just the first day for both of those. So you let me know if you see either of those two though. Are you sure it's not a hot dog from a &W Canada? My dad going by. I think it might be a hot dog. No, it's chili dog. Sorry about that. Uh, Gus, what's your preference on how you like your steak cooked? I like medium rare. A little closer to the rare end, but it, it depends on the cut of beef, the place I'm eating it. Uh, and my confidence in the person cooking it to actually match up with what would be a medium rare. A lot of factors. Uh, what's your preference? Uh, Canada's heritage moments. It's pronounced Canada. There we go. You just made some chili dogs on Sunday, dude? That's great. Or on Saturday. Nice. We also have house hippos. Medium gang. I like medium gang. Dude, you go up, you go up north. And every single fucking person in my family gets a steak well done. Which at that point in time, don't get a steak. Don't get that. Get something else. I will say, though, before, the single best meat, and I'm not trying to be just like some, bro, trust me, I'm telling you, bro, to vouch for like a hobby, but the single greatest meat I've ever eaten during deer season in Wisconsin, fresh venison tenderloin. You get the tenderloins, you get the back straps, and the way that we prepare them is is incredible. You got a really light uh, marinade. We let them sit outside because um, it's cold enough in November in Wisconsin. We let them sit outside, honestly, in a fucking old Land O'Lakes ice cream bucket, and they marinate for a few days. I don't remember what the exact marinade is, but it's like Worcestershire and soy sauce, a little acid. I think we use lemon juice for the acid. Um, it, dude, it's so scuffed. But then you take them in and, and we, we kind of like pat them dry off some of the marinade and then we throw dry rub on them and just pop them on the grill and it's like really light each side. We have a really imperfect grill, but we do it about two minutes on each side because it's a pretty slow cooking grill too. Sliced up venison tenderloin. First of all, you eat it and even just taste. You would think it's beef. It does taste like beef. It tastes so tender too. It literally just falls right apart with that nice dry rub. It's a very kind of like dirty charcoal-y kind of dry rub. It's fucking incredible. Gus, prime ribbon and old fashioned. Oh, dude, that you can hand me a prime ribbon and old fashioned any day of the week, and I'd just be like, dee -dee 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 -dee, and I just munch that fucker up. Um, we're gonna start on the telephone base in just a second over here for the next prop. But in the meantime, I'll just show you what we're working with, what my thoughts are. So I got this cardboard box. It contained a mixing bowl set. It was fun. This is not my address. It says 12-piece mixing bowl with lid set, item number, blah, 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 blah. Care and use, wash and warm water, dishwasher safe, and top rack. Well, I definitely just sent all three of these bowls through in the bottom rack. That should hopefully be fine. I figure with this kind of thing, again, since I'm going to film the sketch on like a wide angle lens, I'll probably just use my iPhone here on the 0.5 lens. You're not going to get a super, super close look at this. So it's okay if it's, if it looks kind of like stage quality, you know, like if imagine that this, I'm just trying to make this look as good as a telephone prop for an eighth grade stage play. 
you know? Because I'm going to be kind of holding it like this, and I'm holding it so that you don't see the bottom and, like, the cardboard and shit. I just want it to be, like, make it kind of look kind of like old wood. So I think I'm going to make some old fake wood stain looking shit. I got some, like, brown paint that I could use. Or uh, Ian found a typewriter a year and a half ago, and he brought it over to my house, and it looked like it was from, like, the fucking Harding administration. So, and he put it on my coffee table and went, and then scratched it. He made that noise, too. It was weird. I was like, I was like dude, just use your words. And he, so he bought a total furniture repair kit. So maybe I will use the wood, the brown of the total furniture repair kit. See how that one works there, too. So, Shpeppy, thank you for subbing up Rage Cage. Hell yeah. Rage Cage is a big regular. Thank you, Shpeppy. Let me turn this one up here. Well, holy frick, thanks, Shpeppy. There you go. Man, it's so fun hanging in the garage. I should have started like an hour and a half ago, but I just needed to finish some stuff up this afternoon. It was tax day and just doing some shit. But we're hanging out here. I want to do more garage streams here as well, especially since Sven is just not streaming anymore. Totally want to play knob and pool and stuff with his blessing because he worked hard to get this all set up and, and make some of the media for it and shit too, so... Um, I think that would be a fun thing to do. but And, dude, I'm telling you, our friends are always talking about Knob, too. We get good games going. Last time we had a party at our house, too, we got a good group of people that came through. Str dude, honestly, Huckleberry, too, they were kind of fucking killing at Knob first time out the gate. So uh, I'm just I'm looking for any opportunity to play it, even just straight up pool. It's always nice coming out to the garage for that. So The repair marker will pop, probably bleed bad on that cardboard. Gus, do you have paint brushes? I, I'd recommend trying drying the brown to get some wood effect. Or dry brushing the brown. Okay. Anaconda Kiwi, I'm glad you like the uh, the stream with the siblings too, yeah. I, I Every time I'm so happy about this too, Reno goes, Nob has become a favorite among friends and family now. It is so fun, dude. Nob is fun as shit. My thoughts on how to execute this. So I've got, uh, <laughs> and again, it's going to look really scuffed, okay? But I just need like the colors. You know what I mean? Here we go. Oh my God, what a sweet thing to say too, by the way. Core, holy shit. Thank you, Core EXE. Long time watcher of your shit. Uh, I'm in the longest three years I've ever had. I missed you, buddy. Much love. Can you uh, you get me through my hardest time? Sorry, my eyesight's not the best here. Uh, Core, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry that you've had a rough couple of years. I've had a fucking rough couple of years, dude. I'm happy to hear that you're still kicking around with us. Um, thanks for being here and appreciate the buck. That was really sweet of you. Pretty, pretty kind of nice classic stream just today, Core. Just some chill vibes out in the garage. So we're just making props with cardboard. This is what I grew up doing. Still doing it. Thanks for being part of the reason I'm still able to do this. So, um, yeah, sage statement indeed, dude. Um, use the inside to task us. Oh, good idea. Um, anyway, the general layout that I want to do with it too is like, I want to have this box be like this. I got, uh, like solo cups, some red solo cups. So what I think I'm going to do is cut the bottoms off of two of the cups. Oh, I left those inside. I'll go get them in a sec. Cut the bottoms off two of the cups. Cause I want to make, honestly, they're going to kind of look like robot titties. I'm going to put them over here so that it looks like the two like bells that go bang, the things that ring themselves, you know, <laughs> just like that. And then I've got a, uh, little cord here. <laughs> it's just a quarter to three quarter inch cord and i was just gonna go like and plug this in and then take another solo cup and use a really big black sharpie and then just like make it a black exterior so that it's the full cup on the end and it's just gonna be like you know you hang it here and just hello <laughs> so that's that's the layout plan for for the fake old telephone so we'll make that happen you guys would buy it right there you go uh, Shpeppy, thanks. Oh, dude, Shpeppy subbed up core. Bro, thank you, Shpeppy. That's really sweet of you, dude. Thank you very much, Shpeppy. Um, oh, core, thanks again for an another 100, dude. I really appreciate it. I'm doing a degree in film because of you, man. Screenwriting and directing. When I make it, we'll make some weird shit, man. Oh, dude, that makes me happy to hear. Dude, best of luck to you, core. Yeah, keep us posted if uh, you got any big life events coming up. People always come and chat and share them. So, best of luck with that. That makes me really happy to hear. Thank you. Honestly, like... Bits aside, that's just really fucking sweet, dude. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Core. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to cut up two of those solo cups. I'm just going to use Sharpie. I've got black spray paint. Eh. Eh. 
That requires 13% more effort. I don't need to do that. I'm going to test out how these markers do on the inside, though, ZX. Good calm. Maybe I'll do it on the bottom, because I don't think that's going to get a lot of light on it. You know what I mean? Bunch of different colors of uh, brown for this wood stuff here, too. You know what I mean? I'm going to try this sort of medium color and see how it works. Honestly, I'll even try it. No, I'll just do it on the bottom. That's totally fine. I'll have to probably break out one of the lights in just a little bit here, too, so you guys can see better. Oh, nice, a chisel tip. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. You can't, like, super see that, but just seeing how it, like, behaves. I'm okay if it, like, kind of bleeds a bit, too. I'm just going to run a few streaks, especially down this front, you know? It's probably going to dry up all these markers, but what is a guy to do? Here you go. This is a hilarious... <laughs> Currently writing a film about O.J. Simpson where he is the unluckiest guy ever and people keep dying around him, Final Destination style. That's fucking hilarious. That is a really legitimately funny idea. <laughs> Every time it's just... Whoa! <laughs> That is good. I'm going to go get those solo cups to cut them up, okay? Yeah, we'll mix a couple shades is a great idea, ZX. Let me get the solo cups and a light, and then um, before I, I... I will start putting some of those on, and again, I got one of these at the pharmacy for like $2.98 or whatever, so we're going to open it up. It's got an Evolving Skies pack and a Chilling Rain pack in there. This should be hilariously the time that I fucking get a Moonbrion. Just watch. I'll be right back. Just a minute. I'm back, gamers. All right, let's cook. Let's cook. Ooh, I'm back, baby. All right, let me plop these off the side. So we got the solo cups, and I figured I'd just put a couple of batteries in this mobile light. Use that on our beautiful little faces. Gorgeous. Also, I have been following, or I've been keeping up on all the AI songs in the Discord group. Bro, some of those, legitimately, I have gotten the exact melodies and words stuck in my head this last week. It gets fucking crazy. My favorite one, I still think, is probably the Babs one, honestly. The one that Slim generated, where it was like Babs' enchanting thighs. Dude, I it is dangerous, bro. It is absolutely dangerous, but I've been really loving them. Oh my god! Yo, office drummer, what is going on, bro? 
Holy shit. Thank you so much. Dude, Office Drummer just rated. Dude, I really appreciate you doing that. We're making props for a sketch that I'm going to shoot tomorrow, and I'm just in the garage. Look at this. I just got the lighting on here. Beautiful. Thanks for the rate. Yo, shout out Office Drummer, bro. Office Drummer, I cannot get his, not that I want to, I cannot get his shorts out of my Instagram feed uh, lately. The, can you guess this song just from hearing the drum beat? I've been loving those. That's a great idea. Please go hit Office Drummer with a follow if you're uh, watching me over here. Thanks for doing that, bro. Appreciate it. Love the garage, dude. Got to come shoot some pool over here, guy. Um, Raiders, thank you so much. I'm seeing the follows go off. I'm on just my cell phone right now, frankly. So this is my scuffed mobile setup. But thank you for coming in today. I really appreciate you doing that. I am making some homemade home movie props for a meme that we're going to shoot tomorrow. It's going to be me and my brother Sven. Um, some of the cool shirts guys are going to be over. I'm going to see if I can get one of them to uh, be in it and pretend like they were in a car accident. So we're making a sketch where somebody starts filming because their car just got like rear-ended by a dude. I'm the dude. And as they uh, pull over to kind of just talk about him to exchange insurance information, they're going to be like POV filming just in case, you know, kind of thing of like, all right, let's get this info. And the, the stupid joke of it is that everything that I pull out, like my insurance information, my cell phone and stuff, are just fucking ancient, you know? So we just got done making some coffee-stained parchment paper for my insurance information in the glove box. And now we're taking this old cardboard box and we're turning it into, like, a, some Alexander Graham Bell-ass-looking fucking phone with, like, two big black... Uh, like metal bells here and one of the like hello <laughs> like receivers over here so mad max good to see you thank you so much uh love your youtube sketches gus didn't know you had a twitch yeah i honestly i don't super plug the twitch as often as i should i just kind of hang out here with the regulars mostly and uh you know just do all my other stuff mainly but i spend a lot of time over here thanks so much for all the new followers guys are you gonna be driving a model t that's what tim was saying too i didn't have the budget for the model t but if Jay Leno drives past the house again, I'll ask if I can use his. And perhaps a, a, a scrap of his denim. I'm also, like I just decided before you guys write it in, uh, I'm using wood fixing markers to make this try to look like old wood. That's what I'm doing. Hand freeze is reading too? What is going on, dude? What the fuck? Sinister Shack is screaming, why have you denied us the awesomeness that is you? Guys, I just work here. Just draw Bell's face on it. Just, yeah, just do Alexander Bell's face, uh, Graham Bell's face. I call him Alex B, dude. We're on that, we're on that name basis. Hey, I'm Freeze. Cheers to you, dude. Thank you for raiding over. What the fuck is going on right now? I can't even keep up. Dude, that is so sweet, too, because we already had the stream crash here, too, and I'm just on some jank-ass Wi-Fi on my cell phone, so thank you, guys. That'll, that'll help uh, get some more people in here. Thanks, Ham. Thank you again, Office Drummer. Colossal No-No, by the way. Thanks for subbing up for 14 months. Appreciate you doing that, dude. And Espresso Rat, cheers to you as well. Thanks for the biddies, Espresso Rat. Enjoy your box. Brother, I will. Write phone on it with an F. This was before they figured out how to spell it. Ah, yes, that classic human predicament of, oh, we came up with this thing. God, I... When do you think we'll figure out how to spell it? It's like you just invented it. You could probably dictate that. One would think. One would think. We won't, though. We definitely won't. I like it. All right. Oh, and by the way, you know what? Now's a fun time to do it. Let's pop one of these open first. I found this at the pharmacy. This was under $3, and there's an Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain pack in here. What do you say we pop open one of the packs and then start making uh, the fucking the telephone box? ZX is screaming at me, dude. Wait one sec. Hi, Space Vikings. Good to see you. We'll have a committee look into spelling. Oh, yeah. Are you the AN from Canada that sent me a package? Good question, Tim. Here we go. Core, there you go, dude. I'll get a Japanese beer on you there, guy. Appreciate that. Oh, good. Oh, that's why the wait a sec. That's smart. Yeah, a little random ass guess the energy in here. We're going to do it. I can't wait, dude. We're doing it for the Raiders. We're going to do the Evolving Skies pack first. We'll set the other ones over here. Guess the energy. Get the bet in. This one came with a... What is this? Latios or Latias? They're brother and... Sis, brother and brother? I don't know a lot of the canon over here, guy. 
Tape the non-great cards to the phone. Yeah, that'll, that's gonna really scream old, dude. Oh my god, thank you for 500 more. No, no worries. The fact that you even have that self-awareness means no no worries, dude. Core, thank you. I, there we go. 500 biddies, bro. A little Japanese beer. I'll get a Sapporo or better. I hope that's Japanese. I had it at a Japanese restaurant once. It was pretty tasty. All right, get those channel points bets in. I'm just going to start throwing down some really, really brief, easy, ugly marks here on some of the brown. That'll be good. Dude, these stink. These this should just be an smell that. That's that's not right, right? I don't think so. We'll do a couple bigger streaks down here. There we go. Again, this is we said that our quality level for these props that I'm shooting for is that of a uh, no greater than eighth grade school play. So if it's a prop that you'd be sitting in the audience watching your stupid ass nephew on one of the fleeting days in the weekend that you have, do like fucking miracle worker or leading ladies or something, you'd sit there and be like, I could tell that's a cell, uh, that's an old phone. That's the level of quality that we're shooting for, just so we're aware. And again, I have a couple different colors of this brown. So this is kind of one of the more mid-tone ranges that I have right now. Get those channel points in. Yeah, definitely add some darker ones here too. It's pretty hard to see. Well, and also like this, I'm in a mad dark garage where the ISO right now is going like, <laughs> so I think it'll probably show up in the like more direct sunlight too. Dude, these markers fucking, st I wish I could, I wish you guys could smell these markers cause they look, they just, I've never smelled a marker that smells like this before. It smells like kind of sweet. You ever walk into an old thrift store that's clearly run only by uh, evangelical Lutheran ladies in their 70s? It smells like a mix of one of those as well as chemical warfare. The big two. Let's get this one going. Sick, cool motorcycle guy going back. Ooh, this is gonna be beautiful. Guys, I'm an art major, don't forget. You're not familiar with the first one? Brother, you gotta get out more. <laughs> Actually, somebody that would be familiar with that first one is is usually somebody that, that most likely does not get out at all. I get out, I went down to the thrift store, Family Pathways, used my punch card, I got $10 off a nice uh, fucking doily. Spence home. Bro just got back from a filming day. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Especially we get a couple darker ones in there. I got to remember to not crowd these lines as much because the darker ones will make this pop a bit more. I'll do a couple more on the sides. I guess the top. I don't really need the bottom. I'll try to be cognizant and just sort of cheat it a little bit, you know? <laughs> Sven, welcome to your home, dude. All right. Let's get a couple more streaks down the side. I think Channel Points betting is now closed. Let's open to see that Evolving Skies pack over here. As soon as I finish up this side. See guys, look at this. You go to art school, you can, you can learn shit. This was definitely worth my money. Honestly, I will say that the film school that I went to, it was not really even a film school. It was UW Stout in Wisconsin. Um, it was one of the only small schools. This fucking is gonna get me so high. It's one of the only small schools in Wisconsin that offered like a comprehensive film program. Comprehensive on paper. I enjoyed my time there. I did not get the most perfectly crafted education, but I made do and I did a lot of guerrilla learning. That means I did it myself. I was big in doubt, dude. Lanky Noodle, I went to Stout, brother. Ah, cheers. All right, gamers. Thank you again, Raiders. Very sweet of you. Um... Let's open this up. This is a good pack of Pokemon cards. It is a nice set. Frankly, Evolving Skies is the best set of the Sword and Shield era. This would be a great, hilarious time. I'm not gonna show you the back of the code card because I don't want it to get spoiled. Please, okay, how do I do this? 
This would be a comical ass time. Please no code card backwards. Yes. There you go. Now let's get that out of there. I'm not even gonna look. A comical time to get the very best card in the set, which is uh, an Umbreon alternate art, and it looks like it's in Starry Night. It's called the Moonbreon, but it's Umbreon on the top of like a church steeple. That card is like fucking hundreds of dollars if we pull it. All right, let's go. Psychic energy, by the way, in case you didn't know. Let me know if you won the bet. Tell me how many channel points you won. Psychic energy. We have, and it's going to be a once, like a three second delay for me because I'm going to only look at my monitor over here. I'm just watching my own Twitch stream on the laptop. Palpitoad. So hilariously, also, if I draw the Moonbreon, I'm not going to know right away and I'm going to be like, <gasps> like that. Shopping center. Teddy Ursa. <laughs> Dude, Psychedelic had 61. Dude, fuck you guys. Bunch of bandwagoners. Bet with your heart. Cryogonal. Nick it, night. Last two, I think. We have a... Dwebble. Gen V going crazy right now. Let's go, dude. We got Rufflet. Dwebble eyes. The reverse. This should be the reverse is a hypno and on the end hey it's a hollow that's evolving skies is a terrible hit rate so i'll take that as a win but that card is probably honestly only worth like 20 or 30 cents galarian zapdos though it is kind of fun we have another pack we'll open that one up later let's get back to farts and craps as my mom would say no arts and crafts we used to have an arts and crafts night at our house growing up. Yeah, I had a Dwight Schrute childhood. Um, but then somebody had the genius idea to start calling it farts and craps. And we were like, well, you've clearly just ascended to the top of the writer's room in the Johnson household. Guys, look at my dad gut while I turn this, uh, turn this down a little bit. Is this going to be good? It's even funnier when I lean in to do tech stuff on the uh, 0.5 angle lens because I just go. <laughs> that looks pretty good. There we go. That could be a hell of a lot worse. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice pocket, Gus. Thank you. All right, back to, back to the old art store. This is our first brown one over here. What are you guys up to today? Anybody cooking dinner? We still have a little bit of that cowboy stew left over. I was so happy. So I cooked up the cowboy stew on Saturday. And then yesterday on Sunday, it was very cold. And it was rainy all over in Los Angeles this weekend. So Sven went to Coachella this weekend with Ben Ball. He got a sponsorship from fucking YouTube. I'm so proud of him, dude. And they went down there, but they got back. And obviously, it was just a big, long, tiring weekend. And it was raining and cold, so I had stored, I perfectly left out the, the pot of stew to cool overnight. Or not overnight, on, on the stove. But I'd let it cool down, and I just put the entire pot just in the fridge. And when I heard Sven was coming back, I was able to just pop it right on the stove. Get that fucker nice and hot. Nothing like having a nice roast beef smell in the house on a Sunday when it's like cold. That reminds me of growing up in Wisconsin, walking next door to church from church to my grandparents house to go eat they, they'd often do like a nice beef pot roast on sunday of course as i watched from till dusk uh from dusk till dawn in the cinema today it was awesome Ooh, that sounds kind of sick i could dig it i could get behind it i've been known to all right let's do a little darker brown this time i'm gonna go for this like kind of more middle shaded dark brown I was just watching the cooking stream when you started this one. So uh, thanks for spoiling it for me. Guess the onions didn't take you out. <laughs> Dude, that was the thing you didn't want spoiled. Fuck, I didn't know if Gus was going to die from that rotten ass core onion. I still was so surprised by that. Oh, there's fucking, there's crayons in here? Touch up filling sticks. That sounds like a side that you'd find a cracker barrel. Y'all all have the touch up filling sticks? Damn, my video feed is now like 20 seconds behind. Let me refresh that. How do these crayons look on this box? Oh, 
That just looks like, dude, that looks like poop. I don't know. Can you see this color? It looks like diarrhea. This is like baby poop, poop brown, bro. God, dude, that's just, this makes it just look like piss. That is not the color at all that it looks like. What if I use a darker one? This one's like straight up black. Let me try this. Oh man, that just looks like a fucking crayon. That looks like pink or something, or maroon. That's no good. God damn, these ones, the crayons stink. I think I should stick to the markers. Let me just try this one darker crayon. This one's dark as shit. Maybe this is the play. Ah, crap. That just looks black. Damn it. Now I'm obsessing over the look on this. I'll just go darker, darker brown. I'm going darker, darker brown to Marker Marker Town. They, they have the appropriate fitting size for the markers to go in here, but it doesn't stick. Like, it's just sitting in there. So it's like the thought was there. But the execution leaves, frankly, much to be desired. Let's see how much darker this is. Ooh, baby, that actually looks good. I think this is really going to actually kind of turn out not too terrible, guys. Yo, I think it's, this is going to work. Okay. Look who's cooking with heat now, dude. Isn't it supposed to be the small end of the cap that snaps in? Well, let's try it. Nope. Uh-uh. These guys did not think ahead. You clearly did, dumbass. Ironic that your name is dumbass, but... Whoops. Give it a couple knots and you're good. Oh, yeah, knots! There you go. Made it look a little vul vulvic. There we go. Oh, guys, this is actually kind of looking a little bit incredible-ish. Wow, dude, art school does pay off. Guys, base your decision to go to art school off of this stream alone. Nay, this prop alone. Dude, bro, Johnsons are cooking with heat today, dude. I'm actually kind of happy. This is really turning out. Doesn't this already look like look like wood? Oh, dude, I just saw the far away shot. That totally looks good. Look at this. Bruh, this is called working for a living. <laughs> I'm going to go sh sit in the cab of my truck and record a video like, Teacher said I want to go make it. <laughs> look at me now, teacher. Waving the hundreds. Look at me now. I get this up here. Beautiful. Straight to cam. Gus has the technology to turn paper products back into wood. <laughs> That's me, baby. That's called science and learning. Here we go. Now that's what I call an old ass looking telephone. Ooh, baby. Do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Take that. Yo dog, we heard you like trees, so we turned your tree into paper and then back into a tree. Gorgeous. Again, none of this would be made possible if it weren't for the squirted down dad gut over here. This keeps a nice athletic base so that your marker does not go awry. God, I hate when shit goes awry, dude. That sucks. Just in case, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the top, too. Just in case it shows on cam at all. I just want all the major angles kind of covered. This is just, like, quick and dirty, though.
beautiful. Wipe it off the sticker. Dude, oh, guys, I was so excited today. I found some great thrift store finds when I went out earlier on. I made one final pass at the thrift store because I was like, you know, maybe I do find like a cheap ass wood box. It's like five bucks. I didn't find it, but it's more fun to be making this. Um, but you know, I've been kind of collecting physical media lately, uh, VHSs and DVDs, and I found some sick deals. And I found that the thrift store near me on Monday for like, there's like a happy hour where the, all of the media, like DVDs and VHSs and shit are a dollar, period. So I scored some good shit today. I was able to find, first of all, one of my grails. It was not the hardest to find. Maybe I shouldn't cal categorize it as a grail, but I am trying to get every piece of jackass media that I can find on DVD all day, dude. All day. <laughs> what the fuck? Deal or no deal island? Are you just pasting the actual description of the show? I did see that they're doing deal or no deal island now. That is a wild concept. It looks very survivor-ish. Um, anyway, the, the finds that I got today, anything Jackass, and especially the unrated extended editions of the old DVDs. So I had Jackass 1, like the big deluxe edition. I got Jackass 2 on DVD, unrated extended. Very happy about that. Collector's edition. I'm still looking for Jackass 3 and 4. I saw Bad Grandpa. For some reason, that one was plastic wrapped and was like 8 bucks. And I was like, I will see this again. I will see this again. I want all the point fives. I haven't seen any of the point fives, and I certainly want the fucking TV seasons of Jackass on DVD. So those would be way harder to find. Is the the DVD seasons of Jackass? I'm also looking for the Trailer Park Boys seasons on DVD. Any of them. I'll take VHS. I don't know if they ever made them. Any Trailer Park Boys on DVD. I want a period. If it's the movie, if it's swearing at specific shit, I'm looking out. I haven't found anything yet. I was able to grab. Seasons 1 and 6 of Reno 911 today, though. Especially Season 1. I'm very excited to have that. So that was a big find. I got two of those seasons. Um, I also got the Big Lebowski Collector Edition, a buck. Boom. And I got... What else did I fucking get today? I got a bunch of Family Guys. I mostly caught up on that, too. I think that was most of them. But I'm going to have to go back next Monday and check if they got any more. I'd take some Viva La Bam, too, yeah, if they had them. Or Wild Boys, frankly, but my priority is definitely, like, the Jackass TV show. So, Atreides Nuts, good to see you, dude. Gus, good news. I just ate so much at a Brazilian steakhouse that I puked. I hope you're doing well. I mean, Atreides Nuts has goals, and shouldn't we all? So, don't tease Atreides Nuts. Embrace this person. Thanks for 23 months, baby. Appreciate it. Spappy new boot goofing. Oh, ooh. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I got into Reno 911 recently too, surprisingly. I just never really grew up on it. Just make sure this is all taken care of here. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't see. Did Space Vikings ever confirm? Are you A.N., the person that sent that in from Canada? Again, we do have a couple smaller P.O. box items here today. Happy to open them if anybody's around. I got a letter from Nathan M. Um, over here. And then we also got, with some stuff in it, somebody that just had their uh, initials be A.N. up top here. And it's from Canada. So I'm not A.N. I am A.C., but I also haven't sent anything. <laughs> Fine, I'll fuck it. I'll ruin it. Let's roll the dice on that one, dude. Um, you ever watch Kenny Rogers, Jackass? I did. That is a great sketch. I, I love all the mad, old Mad TV stuff. Mad TV would be fun to have on DVD, too. Actually, here's what else I've been looking out for. So, like I said, is I'm really trying to target Trailer Park Boys DVDs and Jackass DVDs. Um, the SNL best of certain cast members, you know, Dana Carvey, Chris uh, uh, Farley, Lord Above. A Will Ferrell, stuff like that. I'd love to grab those too. My main target for DVD stuff is like, I either want it to be shit that I super love and would actually like to watch. I've watched a bunch of the DVDs all through or ones that would just be super fun to have on in the background during like a party or something. Hello. Um, I'm going to go get another drink. Just promise me you'll never do another rule. All right, no more rules. I don't know. Can I do anything? Okay, no rules. Just none rules. Thank you very much again, Cor. I appreciate you doing that. I hope you have a great rest of your evening, dude. Chris Catan's an underappreciated SNL member. Yeah, he's really good. 
All right, it's coming together looking pretty good right now. Nice fake wood kind of seal. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if we need to go darker. It's going to be in like uh uh, no, there are rules, Tim. And there's the golden rule. Go to bed. I'm sorry I didn't want to do it. What'd you think about the Shane Gillis SNL? It was, I thought it was really funny. I, I did expect more, but like, I didn't want that to be construed as negative at all. A bunch of the sketches were bangers. And again, I just don't know why, but they once again cut the best sketch of the night. The Limu Emu was 10 out of 10. That was so fucking funny. But I, I think he did a super, super good job. We all had a big watch party for that one. I love this Renaissance mug. Tim, fuck on, dude. Why, God? God damn it. Thank you very much, Tim, by the way, for subbing up Anaconda Kiwi. That is too many rules broken, brother. My lawyer will be hearing about this, and so will yours, dude. All right. Now I think we just start cutting up a couple of the cups. Why don't we do it? <laughs> no rules, baby. Wow. Dude, I will say, though, I actually thought that the best episode of the season so far was undoubtedly the Ryan Gosling episode that just aired. The Papyrus sequel, the Beavis and Butthead sketch, was just fucking hilarious. Um, that one was way funnier. Here, I think I'm going to cut these off. So I'm trying to just have the tips of these be on the front. Again, insert robo boop thing here. I'm going to just try to have, like, the tips of them be, be up top, and then I'm going to just color them black, so. Actually, it might be easier to color it in before I cut it, because then I don't need to be as perfect. That will be nice. Yeah. Put a bang. Gus, if you thought of doing an online donation for your Twitch, we could see your holy grails and gift them specifically. I'm in Alaska. Oh, like a wish list or something? Cut them at the last low ridge line, perfect size. Exactly, and I'll have something to trace over over there. Now this is really imperfect. I'm really fucking pissed because I had a big, like one of those tank Sharpies, the silver ones where the, the felt is like this big. This would just go be done in a second, but Sven left the lid off and now it dried out. Seriously, I freaking hate that guy. Cut down the line smaller so when you cut the cup horizontally, you don't lose more cup than it. A wish list. I'm just drying off on the nipple of my shirt because I spit on accident when I was talking to you guys emphatically. Um, a wish list is a good idea, but I feel like I'm always really happy and like floored and flattered when people want to donate to me and stuff. But I am honestly like, I, I, this has legitimately been my mentality is like uh, the people that have kind of stuck with me, especially in the last couple of years, I don't want to like juice people. You know, like if people come through, sometimes you get bigger donors coming through and shit. That's really sweet, but, and, and I honestly could be doing way more in terms of best practices, you know, like sticking to a better schedule and maybe doing like sub goals and maybe I'll do some, some, of, some of that stuff in the future. But I just feel, I personally don't want to set up a wish list, you know, and just be like, give me this. Like anything's appreciated and, you know, folks can and have sent in awesome stuff to the PO box, but I just don't want to be like having fishing lines out in the water for me personally, but no shade on anybody that does do a wish list. You know what I mean? Plus it's kind of fun for me, honestly, to like look around and explore for some of the grails at thrift stores. Like that is kind of half of the excitement is ironically that kind of goes hand in hand with the physical media in my opinion too, is like, I really like the patience element, you know, I miss the days when you had to go to the video store and choose one thing. And, or what I used to do is I used to ride my bike to the library and, you could do this thing called the interlibrary exchange program where it'd be like, oh, the library in Superior, Wisconsin has the X-Files season three on VHS. Okay, and then go up to old Judy at the desk and be like, Judy, I wanna order, I saw that the Superior library has um, X-Files season one on DVD. Can you get them? She'd go like, all right, doll, let me get them. Beep, 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 beep. She'd be like, I'll give you a call when they're in. And I'd sit there at home and I'd be like, I'd call the library. Hey, Judy, how you doing, love? Is this X-Files season one in yet? No, it's not. It was really fun. I miss that. It's like when the camera went up with the garage door. Oh, dude, that was a great clip. That was probably one of my favorite clips ever. The only thing that's... I, once I get past these ridges, it's going to be way easier to cook, too. 
Does anybody, I don't want to make somebody go digging. Does anyone have the clip of when Sven and I were playing knob and I, I had the automatic garage door opener in my pocket and I leaned against the table and I had my cell phone on top of the garage door and it shut the door and the entire setup just went push, push, and fell down. That was the, that was probably top five Twitch clips on the channel here. I miss just the chaos of those kind of garage streams. Damn, I didn't know how hydrophobic these solo cups were for this ink, but it's it's going to work out. Even if it's just a little bit sticky, that's fine. And like I said, I could probably be making these more efficiently, but eh, we're fucking around. The stream is this. I'm doing what my mom does. Pink, pink, pink. Beautiful. Told you spray the paint. I didn't want to. I probably honestly should just fucking spray this paint. <laughs> I'll finish one cup. We'll see how it goes. I'll finish one cup. And I can always fill in these gaps later. Because, like, once I'm on this part, this is... Now I can just go, like... Plus, if anything, this will give me a good base layer. You know what I mean? beautiful you could be done with four cups by now guys it's about the journey not the fucking destination you guys you guys aren't i just sometimes i'm doing stuff on stream and then i take a step back and i'm like what are people watching right now <laughs> this is one of those times it's like you're watching a guy sit with his gut just drawing on a solo cup in his garage as you hear the tra traffic go by yeah, no, send it. We'll renew for another season. That sounds good. That should be good. I'll re-up. Big time. Remember when I just said I don't do best practices? This is what I'm talking about. Wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go, baby. I love you guys. Parasocial love, though, of course. It never lasts. I'm just jarshing. All right, I got this good line to cut over here. I do still think I might apply a layer of paint later on. That's no problem. I can just go do that, even if it's nighttime. Beautiful. Oh, guys. Oh, gosh. That's just gorgeous here. All right. We'll let that dry up a bit. You can definitely see some kind of cracks in the paint, though. Oh, yeah, dude. I can already tell. You can see, like, because remember, I'm going to have to be competing against natural sunlight. So I really think that's going to make these look super red. Uh, it's just nice to know for sure that that is when I'm going to have to do those. I'm going to have to spray paint. Hands down, no question. I'll just take care of it later. I don't want to do it right now, get my hands all painty. Um, in the meantime, looks like we probably won't finish this prop on stream today, but I'm going to keep hanging out and talking and stuff. Did we ever get any confirmation that these people are here today that sent in the letters? A.N. from Canada and Nathan M. from The States? You let a guy know. I think it's about time, though. Let's open up this final pack. If we want to do another uh, another channel points bet, let's do it up. I got the other Chilling Rain pack. Let's see if we got our money's worth on the CVS coupon 298 for two packs and good packs, too. I am Nathan M. Whoa. Tim, say it ain't so. Tim's everybody. Tim is all of us, truthfully. Also, it was really fun at the end of the cooking stream. I'd kind of like to do it again in a maybe even cleaner format. Um, but we did like the uh, like the fake blackjack for fake money competition. That was like stupid fun. I really liked that. And I hope you guys did too. Are there any goofy things to do at Stout? I know you went here in the early days of YouTube. Yes. Um, for Stout... I don't know. I graduated in 2007, 2017 or 18, which at this point in time was uh, about six years ago. Is that how that works? 2024? Yeah, about six, seven years ago. I don't know if Stacked is still open. It's a late night eatery and it's really skinny. It used to be near the Acoustic Cafe. That was really good. Um, there's a really nice farmer's market in the main park on Saturday, and you can get some really surprisingly cheap produce for even farmer's market prices, I'd recommend. Um, I gave you two very non-exciting <laughs> things to do. I'm older now. 
I guess I'm only 28 still, but I feel old. Um, fun stuff to do. I mean, we used to just go hike the trails a lot. Um, it is. I liked doing this, but... Uh, oh, dude, I actually have some great advice for you. Killer CDL. I have some really good advice for you. What year are you? I don't want to monopolize your time or anything, too. It was crazy. I was a massive fan before I even came here. It's unreal when I recognized some video spots. Oh, dude, first of all, thank you for supporting me for that long, though, Killer. Um, I've been doing YouTube almost 10 years, and like I, I mean, I say it a lot. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the fact that I'm even able to sit in my garage with the door open and paint cardboard is because of viewers like you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I've been doing this almost a decade. Um, yeah, what year are you, though? That might kind of dictate some of the... Uh, some of the comms on that. Crave, I am watching Fallout. I'm not finished yet. I like it. I'm in my sophomore year currently. So I don't know exactly what the situation was. Just yes or no question for you, uh, Killer CDL. Do they still do the thing where at the end of a semester in like the dorm halls and stuff, CKTO, all those places and shit, do they still do the thing where they put out big cardboard boxes for like guys if you don't want electronics or clothing or like food items and stuff like plop them in here sorry fire trucks going by dude there are some like disasters going through today do they still do that dude yeah buddha my mustache adds 30 years on me too yes they definitely do i remember that from ckto last year I bet the farm, boys. Did you really bet the farm? Hilarious. On the pretend blackjack. We got guess the energy going, too. So this is stuff. This is depending on your, your comfort level, killer CDL. But here is legitimately what helped me out a ton to save money. I went and I talked to the building managers at a couple buildings when I went there. Like the older students that when I was still in the dorm hall, halls that like oversaw the building uh, when I was there to confirm and also like the person that was in our building came to us first and were and they said guys if you if you want to use anything from these boxes take them this is just like the stuff that that gets left in these boxes or when kids move out and they're like eh, i don't want this box fan eh, i don't want this fucking cup of ramen or whatever the hell like they were like take them if you can use them so i took full advantage of that because i didn't have a job that summer um I was actually going into my sophomore summer too. And what I used to do, even though they said take them, I still didn't want to be like, they put them in the entryways of the dorm hall buildings and stuff. I still didn't want to be like, oh, hey, as kids were going to class. So what I would do is I stayed up on North Campus, uh, like my junior and senior years of college, and I would just set my alarm for like 11 o'clock or midnight, and I'd get a big duffel bag and I would put on my rollerblades and I would rollerblade down to the bottom of campus and I would just, I know you had to wait for people to like key card you in. You just chill out there. I would just get key carded in and then when people weren't going by and I had all the time of day at night, I would just go through and I would pull stuff out of the bins. And I'd just be like, oh, okay, here we go. And I would take non-perishable food and stuff and sometimes cereals and shit. And that saved me a ton of money and I, I told my friends about it too. I know some of my friends did the same thing too. But half the stuff I my mom used to run the food pantry in our in our town for a number of years and there is even a lot of restrictions on stuff they can't even take partially open things I would see my the main shit I would grab from the fucking uh from the boxes of food were like oh here's like a 30 pack of chewy granola bars somebody opened it up and took two bars out of it a food pantry can't take this I'm going to just take the fucking granola bars you know like and even still the building managers are like if you guys can use this shit Take it. Your college kids, take it. You could save yourself probably at least fucking hundreds of dollars if you go do that. And I'm telling you right now, uh, you should really specifically too, and this is specific advice for anyone at Stout, Killer CDL, um, a lot of kids throw away stuff that you could easily like turn around for a buck in there. I pulled multiple laptops and cell phones and like hard drives and shit out of the electronics box, and I ended up selling a number of those. And I fucking love dumpster diving. I love doing shit like that. You should totally go look in some of those boxes. Also, one last bit of specific advice. Um, this is for anyone that's at Stout right now. Killer CDL. If you go into the student center, and, and here's a great tip for anybody, especially in Midwestern schools. 
You go into the student center, there's a big box and it's a giant recycling bin that's in there. It's the garbage can. And they have specific trays for like print printer, like inkjet cartridges that are used as well as like things with screens and things with lithium batteries. Bro, make it a habit to go look in those. This isn't even stout, stout specific, dude. Go look in those fucking things. I pulled out so many iPods and cell phones and shit from those things and laptops. Dude, that's like 10 to to $100 depending on what you find in there and shit. I flipped shit like fucking nuts, dude. I have garage sales. I used to sell stuff on like on Listia or on like fucking eBay and shit years ago. Go look at that. Does anybody else have those kind of things? Especially colleges, I found. As I used to go around, like, in college to other colleges, I'd always make it a point to go into, the, like, their libraries and their student centers, and they'd usually have, like, specific recycling areas for, like, oh, this is for this old electronic shit that we can't throw away elsewhere. And I just, dude, pop that bin open. Oh, cool, here's free stuff. Boom, left and right. Judo Crow, what up, dude? College depots are such a goldmine for working electronics. Honestly, too, especially some college kids are like just the spoiled rich kids that are like stupid. They're like, oh, my mom got me this iPhone 12. I don't fucking want it anymore. I just, eh. It's like, dude, I could, I could make like 50 bucks off that, dude. It's not bad. Hey, Gussie Bo Bussie. <laughs> hey, Girls of Springs. Yeah, you can find, oh, the surplus store. I think they used to do it on, on Thursdays at Stout, too. See, good. Killer CDL goes, yeah, I saw a full computer monitor in our hall's recycling bin. Just take that shit. Take that shit. Make, even if you don't want to go through, like, online listing stuff, nothing is stopping you from putting up, like, a Facebook marketplace thing. Like, dude, computer monitor, 10 bucks. Who wants it? That is so worth your time. You're already on campus anyway. Just tell them to go meet you in the parking lot, you know? You don't have to be doxing yourself. Just be like, 10 bucks, computer monitor. It is very well worth your time to do shit like that. That's for anybody on a college campus too. Uh, good comms on that as well. All right, betting is closed. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, chilling rain, one pack of it. Curious, Gus, what is your main instrument? I would say I'm probably singularly best at singing, but if it was just musical instrument, definitely keyboard, then closely followed by guitar. Plus, I rip a mean harmonica from time to time. All right, I hope that the code card does not spoil it for us. Please, Lord God above. Yes! Fuck yes! Okay, we'll see who wins. I'm going to personally guess that it's fire energy. What? There's a delay, so I won't be able to tell. It was. <laughs> Dude, that delay is way too long. I'm going to do the rest like this. Fire. Yay. Congratulations, fire guys. You win. Welcoming Lantern, Clara, Brawly, Ghastly, Ladyba, Pori Gone, Swirlix, Sneasel, The Reverse, Crab Brawler, and on the end, it's this fucking worthless deer. Saws buck. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, fire guys, you won though. If we could have somebody pay out the fire bet, I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, now I'm just kind of chilling over here too, by the way. I don't know that I'm going to fully complete this this evening. I do think though that it is okay to make the cardboard portion of the cord. So even though I'm not fully um, done coloring this stuff yet, I am going to poke through and make the cardboard portion. Tool not toy, tool not toy. Remember though, when you are using your tool not toy, you wanna really cut towards yourself. You keep that blade going kind of right, right towards your face like this so that you keep an eye on the blade and you don't, that way you can't err. You can't make a mistake. You're just cutting right towards you and you're in control, you're in the driver's seat, guys. Also, if you can, try to put it like right on your lap is a good backup option, especially in the groin area. Gus, don't forget you need to do the mouthpiece too. That's true. This is the mouthpiece. So, and this is going to be the specific cup that I do use for it. Um, towards your thumbs and your chums. That's it exactly. Thank you. I'm going to just like cut the hole in it because I'm going to spray paint the inside and the outside of this stuff. So, um, thank you, Quiet Spectre, for the Prime Sub Babies. That's seven months. He's Quiet Spectre. I wish I could sing. Uh, need to check out your music. Thank you, dude. I don't have a ton of it out. I, the last video I put up, though, was a one-minute shit post. Um, 
uh, that was about Moaning Myrtle. Uh, same question from Tito. Gus, do you ever rage about how many Pokemon cards you threw away as a kid? My mom fucking gave them to the thrift store. It was a church sale, actually. Son of a gun. Don't forget, if you're going to cut like that, you, <laughs> you need to be running. Yeah, don't do this standing still. You need to be running. Thanks for the tips. It's still wild to me that you were here, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Love to always hear more about your time uh, in chat here, Killer CDL. Thanks for being so positive today. Oh, Buddha FPV. Yeah, check out my Conway Twitty cover album. That There's a good answer for you. Oh, that Celsius go down good there, guy. Yeah, again, it's good that we're going to spray paint after all. Because, like, look at this right now. Dude, what is going on with the raids today? Holy shit, Flawless Juice Box. Thank you so much, dude. Shout out Flawless Juice Box, bro. God damn. What were you guys up to today? I'm just making props in the garage over here. This has been a big raid day. Appreciate you doing that, Juice Box. Um, I'm making an old telephone. <laughs> like, hello. So I'm going to cut this out first, okay? Oh, there's a mosquito hawk gun in here. That's okay. There are friends. There are friends. Guys. There are friends. There's a mosquito. Yo. Do you think the mosquito hawk will attack the mosquito? I just don't... Oh, the mosquito got out. I don't know if I got the mosquito. I will not attack the mosquito hawk, though, because mosquito hawks are friendly. They are actually not a threat to you, so you got to let those things be because if you swat those, it's just no good. You still up in here? Oh, I think he flew away. Yep, it's all safe. Live mosquito reaction, dude. Oh, all day. Wow, I should come out here to the garage more and even do even more organized activities. Like I said, is I can't wait, though, for that, uh, uh, like, we should just do a fake poker stream. That'd be real fun. Thanks for the knowledge, MB. More pool streams, indeed, too. Okay, let's go ahead and cut into this cup. I just need to get this cord through it. Don't look at my dumpy. This ain't too bad. It's so just a little... Oh, that's the big end. A little quarter inch. Bah. Whoa. Tool not toy. Get out of here. I'm using the tool. Go. Leave. Oh, guys, get it. Get it. There's two of them. Guys, get the... F fuck you guys. Get out of here. Go elsewhere. I don't care where. Get out of... Dude, I'm going to... I will swat you. You fuck. There's three of them. I don't like this. Watch the clip that Tim just put in there. That's when I had the garage door button in my pocket and I leaned against the pool table and it shut it on accident. You're closest. <laughs> that's, that's the perfect response. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to cut towards you. There's probably a more efficient way to do this. Especially seeing as I have multiple power drills and uh, the little drill bits in the house. But, you know, here we are. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful dreamer. Welcome to me. Sven drove away. Was the singing really that bad? Uh. All right, now I just need this part of the cord to go in here. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Come on, don't fuck it up. Come on. Oh, there's fucking mosquito hawks everywhere. Hey, that actually worked pretty good. Oh, I definitely cut myself. Not from the knife, though. From the plastic cup, ironically. Get out of here, bitch. All right, we got one of them. Seems like Sven is super busy nowadays. Dude, Sven, I, he is. Sven is busier than I am. That fucker has got several jobs at once right now. He's doing sponsors like crazy. He himself is uploading some form of content almost every single day. 
he's doing like I said brand work for for other companies and stuff he's had multiple like writing and producing jobs in this last year and right now he's currently making content for cool shirts with Ryan and Ben and Matt bro has been working which side should I put it on <laughs> I think I'll put it on this side <laughs> hello <laughs> oh wait 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 which end do I talk into I think I I think I would talk into the unit like this hello I'm not getting any service anybody on the other side who are some of your favorite musicians and uh, musical influences I like ELO Jeff Lynn is the greatest producer of all time um, I also like Boston and Aerosmith and uh I recently, in terms of new music stuff, I've actually been loving the Hicks tape stuff from, like, uh, Joe Diffie and, like, Hardy and shit. There's a bunch of people. There's a fun new Toby Keith one that came out, and I just discovered the rapper Prof. 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 I was fucking up. That guy's got... That guy's the best, dude. And he's a Minnesota rapper. All right, this should be good. We'll put this one in here. Oh, I like Enya, too. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Gus's music is heavily inspired by Suno AI. Yo, guys, shut the fuck up a sec. Hey, what up? No, I can talk. I can talk, I can talk. Yeah. Oh, shit. My wife's on the other line. Operator, fucking hang up, dude. Oh, man. I need a little, like, thing to hang it on. That's okay. I might just be holding on to it then. That'll be good. Golden knife like a mobster. <laughs> when will Gus break out the harpsichord? Brother, the harpsichord stays out. It stays out. A new world record and time. Dude, right? Also, I put this on my... I think it's probably still on my Instagram story. These fucking cool shirts, dorks. I'm gonna unplug this. Look at this horrifying prop that they bought for videos and I've just left in my garage. Here, we're going mobile there, boys. I will show you exactly how I see it. I'm always coming out here and I'm just like, oh, time to get the garage set up for some poker. You know, I got some work to do. Jesus fucking Christ. Hate it. Is my internet out too? Yo, Trey, what the fuck? Your internet's out? Anyway, isn't that the worst prop ever? Yeah, that's terrible. Damn, seriously? You got like an outage going on? I'm on Wi-Fi right now. Get out of here, bitch. These mosquito hawks, I hate them. I'm on Wi-Fi. Did you start stream and then it went down? I thought I got your go live. Damn, sorry, Trey. That's no good. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Thoughts on moms? I'm not big on them. <laughs> Tim says, what up? Jeff Lynn is so dope. He produced for George Harrison, Paul McCartney. He actually produced an album for Brian Adams that came out in like 2014 called, I think it's called We Did It All. And the album is great. And honestly, you listen to it and you're like, yep, Jeff Lynn produced this. It's really, really good signature chords and sounds and stuff. Gus has said publicly he never intends to be a mom. I'm trying. I'm certainly trying. Trey says, yeah, it's choppy. What are you going to do, Trey? Are you going to try to get back up or what? I really like Harsh Noise Wall. Harsh Noise Wall? Oh, is that the creepy dude? God, that fucking thing is just standing there. It's like Slender Man off in the corner. He actually engineered my mom's debut EP, did he really? <laughs> I unironically enjoy Mersbo. What the hell is Mersbo? I'm missing most references happening. Um, I'm kind of just having a nice time hanging out. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming for. I'm, I'm jumping on with Dave this evening, but I'm just kind of chilling in the meantime. Donkey Feet 4? Bro, full year? I don't have anything to cheers with. I have the rest of the coffee that I didn't use for the aged paper. 
Donkey Feet, thanks for your support, dude. I really appreciate you doing that. Hopefully there's no dead Skeeters up in that heater, eh, guy? I'm so excited to come back into the garage. Man, I would even hesitate to say maybe this week I come back out here. I just like having the ability to be a little bit more, like, moving and mobile and stuff, you know? When I sit in the Skyrim room, it's obviously sick, but I'm mostly just planted in the same spot, so. Trades, you figure it out? What are you going to do? Plus, isn't this garage just so great, dude? Like, this is such a good set. It's such a good set. I'm so happy that the Cool Shirts guys are filming so much content out here so that... I mean, Sven, Sven arguably did the majority of the decorating and building work. And he built a bunch of little smart rough shelves in a bunch of areas that make sense, too, so... Uh, is that chicken I hear in the, in the background? It ought to be. I bet you could stomp around like a big T-Rex in there. Wait, um, can I try super quick? I'm just gonna try. Just seeing if there's any bad stuff over here. I hope it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can stomp around like a big T-Rex in here. I was actually able to pretty successfully, frankly. What else do you want? Again, I like to say this a lot. Sometimes it tickles me to think of the random errant person that at this point in time might swing through and be like, what are Gus Johnson's up to these days? <laughs> and then he comes in here and it's just like, I'm... Hey, babe, you remember Gus Johnson? Let's see what he's up to these days. And they check in, and I'm just like... <laughs> oh, he's he's good. He's still, he's still doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's still cooking. Show us your best tea pose. Pretty good. The last thing you see right before you die. That's the form. Let me show you again, if you didn't see before, this great contraption that Sven made here for our poker table. Um, really, really smart application, actually. Oh, I can just look at you over here now. This is nice. So we've got all the chairs and shit, too. I'm not going to fully put it down. It's harder for one person to do it. But this is the corner where we do our poker games. It's really, really fun. We've got a good group of guys that comes through here, too. Um... Right here, it's like, first of all, beautiful table. Sven found this on Facebook Marketplace. Got a hell of a deal. I don't remember how much he paid for it, but he treated us here. Some of the older pins, the Pokemon pins, too, that I'm not using, just stuck them boink, right into the wood. It's just kind of nice. But he made these little levers that come down. It's just rough wood. You know, it's a Wisconsin garage. These levers come down like this and hold the, hold the thing in place. And then there's ones on the bottom, too. And these levers, they fold in, too. So... These ones fold up, and the bottom ones fold in and out like this. But you can just take the entire table down, rip, comes off the wall, and just pop the little heaters down. Isn't that nice? Isn't he talented, guys? He's my brother, so talented. Also, guys, word of warning. <laughs> I found that at the grocery store. Can you believe it? I think it was $3.99. I was like, oh, I guess I'm coming out here today to buy garlic bread and this I'm going to shoot you sign. <laughs> the big two, of course. I got to get this up and running, though. This is not one of the, the main TVs that we've been running stuff through, but Sven found this outside. I don't know if this one's got any life in it yet, though, but I'll keep on looking. That's okay. And I have this big grass mat. I never figured out what to do with it, but it's got a lot of, like, fake ferns and shit. An area of the garage that we don't usually show. It's not like it's bad or anything, but it just never really finished it. We didn't, we got to figure out a way to light this more, but we have a full dartboard against this like fake grass that we got to be using. I want to put like garage game stats up here, poker games and dartboard game high scores and stuff like that. So that's what I think we want to do with this. But we haven't really done a lot of the stuff specifically to the house right now. And we had to take down a lot of the decorations for right now. 
Tim sent over this beautiful pool, uh, like giant poster too. I've currently moved some of that stuff into my personal room. Um, cause these cool shirts guys sometimes have to like use the walls and stuff, especially over here. You know, they just, they're always ripping stuff down. We used to have a bunch of big, like whiteboardy setup stuff over here. Um, but they're currently down right now. Uh, cause they had to swap. <coughs> swap some stuff out so and then here's the the light setup i don't even have all the lights on right now but just two big work lights up here and we permanently mounted my old webcam up top too that that's what gives the overhead view for when we're doing like pool and knob streams and stuff but it's a pretty sick garage pretty sick i don't get to show it off too often but that's basically what we're working with yo a tray you still chilling in here dude that neon card sign goes incredibly hard dude thank you honestly the card sign was literally just it's just one of those shitty fake neon signs on amazon i think it was like ten dollars um i'm sure you could find it if you type in like poker neon light or something like that uh that was a great find um all right dude oh i didn't even show you this yet it's not like crazy but it's just like personally i love it um but i found one of these it was five bucks. It's a stoplight. That's kind of fun. And it, I don't know that it has any other settings because it's a very cheap feel, but it looks really legit. Um, it's just got one switch and no buttons over here. Um, but the, if it stays on long enough, the red blinks like that, but it doesn't do anything. I was hoping it would be like those classroom lights. Did anybody have like the energy level classroom stoplights or whatever when you were growing up? We had this one in elementary school that was like, the teachers would be like, hey, now this is gonna correspond to the noise and the energy that we're making. Um, so they were like, if, it's, if it gets too loud, we can't let it get to red. And then sometimes if we were getting out of hand, she'd go, oh, oh, look guys, guys. And she'd point over to it. And I realized now she probably just had a fucking remote for the thing of like, God damn, these annoying ass little pricks won't shut up. Oh, guys, you know, uh oh. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. Hey, the wormhole. Thanks for the first time prime sub, dude. Thank you. I'll put that to good use, wormhole. Thank you. Big kiss for you. There you go, guy. Oh, dude, your internet is still fucked? I'm sorry. That's honestly sucks. Thinking of checking out Fallout 76? Maybe. It is free right now, right, for prime people? We had a guy who wouldn't release noble or who would release noble gases into the room if we didn't behave. <laughs> oh, don't want to, but guys, you're going to make me release the, the noble gases. Lord help us. If I get to the transition medals, were there any big winners from Jack, Jack? Oh God, I was going to say jackass. I got that on my mind today uh, from blackjack. Yeah. Mackie was the top winner with 337.5 fake dollars. 68k mac man says my middle middle school art teacher tried to tried the stoplight thing and it backfired so hard kids loved <laughs> making it go off yeah mogzaz got negative a hundred dollars that was not a good bet night for mogzaz unfortunately i believe i was the top winner no zx very very wasn't You hear that? Like, there's somebody just like in the street yelling out there. Go, <laughs> Core. Holy shit. Core goes, It took me a half hour, but I finally got that drink. Congratulations, Core. There you go, brother. Thank you very much for the 100 biddies again, dude. Appreciate you. Bink. Look at that. I perfectly timed the shoot away of that notification. Um, I watch Gus's at home blackjack video once a day every day to stay sharp on my blackjack tactics as you should Ooh, people are yelling out there damn i feel bad that a tray's stream is down especially i'm gonna probably honestly sign off over here in a little bit um i'm gonna go link up with dave online but this has been fun as shit like i said i'm not finishing this now too just because i don't want to take out the paint setup but i will be filming this video tomorrow i'm gonna spray paint the, the cans on these and then just adhere them right to the front and then that'll be the end of it but stubby con thank you
Well, VOD watchers, whether or not you see this, bye. Oh, it's back. It's back. Okay. I literally was like, wow, it just went offline. Oops, hilarious. Um, that'll be our goodbye. I'll be on tomorrow. I'm not sure what we'll do yet, but we'll do some more fun stuff. And there should be a new video as well. So Trey goes, they got him. I'm back online. It might be my service, though. I can't tell yet. I'm going to go inside and do a little inspecting. Thanks for hanging out. If Angelica goes live again, everybody go watch A-Trey's stream. She's playing Fallout New Vegas. It will be well worth your time. And go watch her new skit today.